れ！Guys, it's Mini Girl again with Hobby Hot Tips, and just imagine that my shirt is representing tiles because I don't really have a tile formal shirt, or you know, mosaic. So let's mosey on over and do the mosaic. Ah,、oh, I know I have a problem with puns.、Ugh. Now let's put on our mason hats and choose our tiles. These are called vitreous glass tiles. That's the back. And the flat side is the front. You can use either side for your project. They come in many colors. They're very easy to crack, and they originally actually came from and were made in Italy. See, they're about the size of a fantasy base, but you can use any base, obviously. You can find them at your craft store, Amazon, eBay. Here's some stained glass. You can find them in the same places. You can even use broken glass. Please use caution. Thank you. These are called Van Gogh glass tiles. They're amazing. They usually come in a little pack. You can find them on eBay as well. The reason why I love these is they are actually clear glue chip glass that's painted on the back with metallic automotive type pigment, and this really brings out the fern-like pattern of glue chip glass and creates a really unusual striking effect.、It、comes in so many colors, as you can see here. The metallic paint on the back is covered with black paint, so the glass is completely opaque and has sort of like a mirror-like depth. Now these are just basically glass tiles with fabric glued to them. You can choose whatever fabric you want, so you can give your base whatever design or effect that you're looking for. You can even use china. You can look around your house, see what you've got, and crack it up. Just make sure it's okay with your spouse. This is an old belt that I actually cut up. Uh, just leather. You can even use leather tiles. The best way to do mosaics is to crack the tiles over a bowl, kind of like you're squeezing a lemon. Cover it up, and over a towel in case there's any glass-like shards that may be flying everywhere. So for the first bases, I'm doing a cobblestone effect, and I'm going to be using light and dark gray, staggering them. I'm putting them on after I've just put some white PVA glue down onto the base. While the glue is still wet, I'm going to sand it, paint the sand, and I added a little bit of fine turf. And now I'm using khaki to just dry brush the edges to tone down the shininess of the tile, so it looks more like ruined type cobblestones. The other one I did is orange and khaki and brown, with some like muddy sand, to make it look gritty. If you want to keep it more simplistic, you can just literally take four tiles of varying size squares. I painted one the base blue, and the other one I just left blank just to show you what it looked like. One has the flat top; the other one has the bottom side of the tile grooved. To show you what it looks like, here's another base I'm going to be doing for my signar, and this is the Van Gogh glass. This is what it looks like when it's all dry, but now I need to grout it. So you can use ready-to-use grout if you like, right out of the bucket. You can use silicone. You can use light modeling paste mixed with some acrylic paint color of your choice. You can use any type of epoxy. It doesn't matter. This is the brand I happen to have on hand. Or you can use fabric paint. I'm going to use my personal favorite, which is spackling mixed with some metallic fabric paint. And that's the concoction that I'm showing here. So you can put it directly onto the glass tiles. It doesn't matter because it wipes right off. It's very easy to do. And just make sure you clean up the edges and clean up the glass before you do put your figure onto there. I recommend gluing down your figure, or if he's pinned, you know, glue the pins in while the grout is still wet. Doing a mosaic effect is by far one of my more favorite type of basing. Because I did mosaics before I actually got into this hobby, so I can tell you in just about chapter and verse almost anything about tiles. That's why I like it so much, and I really like the look that it gives. It's very clean, and you can also make it look gritty too. Warning: I'm about to tell a joke. So if you do not want to hear a cheesy joke, stop the video. <sighs> All right, stick around if you want to hear a cheesy joke. And don't complain about it later on. All right, all right. Here we go. So, a tiler asked his assistant, "Oh, dear assistant, what's the difference between a tile 
and a crocodile? And the assistant rolls her eyes and says, I don't know. What is the difference between a tile and a crocodile? And the tiler said, Well, guess I'll send someone else to go to the tile store. Told you it was cheesy. It's your fault for sticking around. All right, guys. That's my cheesy joke of the day. Oh, you know you love it. Bye. See you soon.